What's up everyone? It's Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021. Live from Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's 3.16 in the afternoon and it's a 75 degree Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius, partly sunny day. I'm in a brand new state today. Right now I'm at the intersection of Broadway and Swinney Avenue in front of the General Electric Company um, facility. And we're going to be exploring Fort Wayne, Indiana and seeing what's around here. Let's go check it out. Also, there's a farmer's market today. Fort Wayne's farmer's market. You can go in there and see some cool little stuff. This is a uh, McCulloch Park. Michelle says, glad to see I made it safely. Yes, I did make it safely to Fort Wayne. It was a long drive from New York City, but I made it. This park was established in 1886. Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation open from 6 in the morning to 11 at night. Let's see what's here at this farmer's market. I really can't carry anything too heavy, but maybe some cool things will be, uh, we can see here. Rock Gem, how long was the drive? It was about 12 hours from the morning all the way at night. We got some trinkets here, duck eggs. Fresh from the farms. These are the prices of the produce here. Even have duck eggs too, fresh from the farm. You don't see that in New York. Even get cutting boards. Hi. These look so nice. It's all custom made, the cutting boards. Wow. Look at that. There's different colors of wood too. All in there. Everything that we make here. As long as it's made of wood, is undyed, so that's the natural color of the wood that you're seeing. Right? Really nice. Look at this, the Elysium Supply Company. They engraved the logo right into it. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. And these are some sycamore, sycamore uh, charcuterie boards. Right? Ooh, look at that. I mean, I haven't seen like a better cutting board than these. Usually if you go to the store, it's like just some cheap plastic or thin ones, you know? <laughs> they don't last. We do all different types of stuff. So if you're looking for a pattern or anything like that, we can do that. Yeah. Different types of woods. Cool. We also make ice cream scoops and fans too. Very nice. Gives me an idea if I want to come back, I could get something. Thank you. Even some pens too. Anytime you see like a metallic uh, gold accent, those are 24 karat gold accents as well. Look at that, wow. That stainless steel all the way through in these. And each of the pens are custom made too. We pick up the design and color and all of that. It's pretty. Thank you. Wow. Ryan's asking what inspired me to travel to Indiana. Oh, I have to be here for a personal reason. <laughs> this is live on YouTube. They're so curious. I'm from New York. Yeah. Look at this. They're like wooden bells. They don't make a whole lot of noise. Yeah, they make a noise anyway. Yeah, they make some noise. Right? Yeah. They've got wine bottle stoppers and bracelets. Cool. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, well, good luck with the uh, farmer's market. It looks Thank great. You. Take care. Over here, you've got Trinabago pepper sauce. Ooh. And you've got fresh coffee there. Local beekeepers over there too. Oh my goodness, cookies. Oh my gosh, $3 cookies. There's a live stream on YouTube, it's so curious. Oh shoot, there it is. 
white chocolate macadamia nut and pretzels and toffee sauce bam can we add more ingredients in there <laughs> chocolate chip with walnuts and toffee sauce I think I'm gonna have to get one, right? Oh yeah, you feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's now, right? White chocolate macadamia nut and pretzels. The twisted one? Yeah. Got you. That's gonna be three. All right. I'll try it. I gotta try it. Let's yeah. know how it is. Of course. I came all the way from New York. Hey, well here it is. The yeah. full cooked. Well, I think there's another oh, shoot. dollar in there. Hand it back in a second. All right. Thanks. Is that three. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right. And there's your cookie. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Thank you much, enjoy. Man. Yeah, thank you. We'll taste the Fort Wayne there for you. Yeah, taste the Fort Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And this is the Twisted Pantry. Classics twisted you can't re resist. <laughs> All right, hey, take care. Good luck with the enjoy. farmer's market. Thank you, thank you. They've also got sampler packs available. Really cool. Josh said I came all the way from New York just for the cookie. Oh, I came more... From uh, for more than that, a lot more than that. But there's a chair over there. Let's try the cookie. Eddie says Indiana's name means land of the Indians, simply Indian land. Yes, this land here was inhabited by the uh, Miami Indians. I learned that just walking through the downtown. I did a narrated video here and Fort Wayne was also settled and developed by this person called Anthony Wayne. He had a fort built here, the American uh, Revolutionary War General. So, everyone's curious about this cookie now. Let's see, so these are the ingredients. I don't know if they're reversed, but they are for me, so I'm just going to use the rear camera. Twisted white chocolate macadamia. Walking Man Dude Series, Indiana. You once ended up there when you tried to teleport to India. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fort Wayne does have a huge downtown. I walked it and it was very surprising to me. I'll show you it on the live stream too. But anyway, we got to try this cookie now. Oh my goodness. So. A little bit messy, but here it is. That's just glowing off the cookie. I'm gonna take a picture of it before I eat it. That is fresh. Uh, the name of the company is the Twisted Pantry. All right, I'm gonna try this now. Let's focus, all right. I gotta eat it with the paper or it's gonna be too messy. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, whoa. Full of macadamia lot, nut. Um, the dough is crumbly and melts in your mouth. And whatever kind of topping this is, I was looking for it, but I already ripped the paper, but that is good. Ooh. Mmm. Yep, that's right, it is caramel.
this cookie is unbelievable. But we're gonna walk on Broadway now towards the main downtown area. I'll just eat the cookie on the way. There's so much construction happening here. This might be like a entertainment center or a shopping mall from the looks of it. Wagan Construction Electric Works Broadway District. So this whole area looks like it's going to be changing very soon. This used to be the facilities for General Electric. And um, I remember reading the history on Wikipedia. Fort Wayne used to be a lot of industry and a lot of stuff for the um, the armed forces and General Electric back in the day used to make weapons and other munitions for the US government but this whole area is going to be changing in a few years no more industry here TL says Fort Wayne was big in the 1950s. Yeah, it got developed with the uh, Wayne and Erie Railroad and the canals here. There's one river here, it's the St. Mary's River, which is very influential. That's a lot of dust blowing from that fence there. Uh oh, it's blowing towards me. I'm just gonna hold my breath and cover this cookie because I don't want to get all the dust all over me. But. I'm going to run, actually. Alright, we're away from that now. Yeah, Timothy, there's three rivers there. I saw the uh, plaque when I went through the downtown area. All right, let's finish this cookie. Looks like over here is a union facility. What am I doing in Indiana? A lot of people want to know. I'll cover it after the event is over, but I'm here for some personal reasons. My main goal over here, traveling to Indiana, isn't to make YouTube videos. But I'll try to do some videos while I'm here. I don't think I'll be traveling too far from Fort Wayne, if at all, while I'm on this trip. There's a bar across the street. <clears throat> this area is for lease, retail for lease. And we got the local engine house here, number five. Circle is from Indianapolis saying hello. Nice circle, glad you can join in.
Thank you. Here's knitting off Broadway. Very different from the Broadway of New York City in Manhattan, but still relatively lively. Hopscotch House Toy Shop. Fort Wayne is also known for its arts and culture scene. Someone just yelled something out of their car. I didn't even understand what they were saying. There were a few people who were excited to see my camera. They're like, hey, you're vlogging, or hello. That's when I was doing my pre-recorded walk through downtown. Brian says, the painting is newer on that building. It's really nice. Cool guy, I'm close to you because you're in Muncie, Indiana. I've been to Muncie before too. Muncie is a very nice place. And I've been to Indianapolis. Victoria P, can I get the cookies online? You could uh, look it up. It's the Twisted Pantry, uh, Twisted Pantry Cookies, or Bakery. This mural is so nice. You got the Native American Indian there and a boar. Some residential buildings down there. I'll go down that block after I throw this cookie wrapper away. JC's asking, what am I doing in Indiana? What are you doing where you live? <laughs> what is Scottish Ray doing in Glasgow, Scotland? And what is Cool Guy doing in Muncie, Indiana? I could ask everyone else the same questions. Well, let's walk through some residential areas and see what, how people live over here. I really like these detached homes, a very quiet block. Here's Fulton Streets. Hello. Eddie says these homes look nice and it's very quiet here. It's beautiful. Swan says residential area probably not used to people walking too much around here um, you have the people living here walking a little bit 
going to different places, but towards the downtown, you'll see more people around. This is the second biggest city in Indiana. got Arby's restaurant across the street. They got a two for six sandwich special. Along Jefferson Boulevard and Washington Boulevard, those are the two main east to west streets in downtown. You'll see a lot more restaurants and things to do here. Historic Jefferson Park. And of course, we've got the most well-known restaurant throughout the world, McDonald's. New York Life Vlog is here, welcome. Glad to see you tuning in to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Starbucks across the street. Oh, and here we have the first rental scooters we've seen, Veo. These electric scooters, I downloaded the app and I actually used it. It costs a dollar to start and 25 cents a minute. And they're pretty decent construction. I think Veo uh, specifically contracts out these scooters, so it's their own company. It's not like a rebranded Segway or GoTrax or any other model, but Bell's pretty loud. It's got good grips and it doesn't have a speedometer, but I feel like it goes around like 15 miles an hour, which is plenty. It's also got suspension. I'm crossing over Fairfield Avenue now. This is another big busy street in downtown Fort Wayne. Zach Wynn, I'll cover it if it's convenient for me, but my main point of this trip to Indiana isn't really to make YouTube videos. I may not even make too many more videos after this on my trip, but I'll be back in New York on the 29th Storm, you saw the nice article about me on the New York Post. Yes, it's a very nice article and I'm glad that the Post covered it and showed a lot of people what live streaming in New York City is uh, capable of and how many people are touched by our you know, new format of genre, I'd say, for YouTube. Here we have Ewing Street. I'm gonna hang back a bit just so I get rid of copyright issues. So over here we have the Parkview Field, which is a minor league baseball stadium 
for the Fort Wayne tin caps. Unfortunately, we're not able to get in. They only open it, I guess, when there's a special event or a ball game doing. No handguns allowed on Parkview property anytime. State law prohibits smoking anywhere on ballpark premises. Forbin Colossus, any idea why New Yorkers tend to say streets for streets? For that, you'll have to ask a linguist because I don't know, I was just growing up and I learned it that way. But if you hear things long enough, you'll get to, you'll start repeating them. Like why do Australians call flip-flops thongs? Or why do English people call cookies biscuits? Well, how come people from the English talk like this? So, you'll have to ask a linguist for that. That's just our accent. Here's the Three Rivers Credit Union. Three rivers, because there are three rivers that uh, merge here in Fort Wayne. Yes, Ben, I'm aware of that, but just to simplify things, there's different ways to say different things throughout the world. Here's an Irish pub here, Irish bar and restaurant. Rallies, crazy good food. Infomax says there's a big radio station in Fort Wayne on the AM band. Years ago, you could get the signal loud and clear at night right in New York City. Don't recall the frequency. Wow, all the way from Fort Wayne. That's amazing. Maybe we can get a better view of the stadium from here. Wait, half of the gate is open. We can go in. By the way, over here is the Fort Wayne Convention Center. It's a really beautiful convention center inside. The Forbin is Indiana higher than New York in the summer. I'm not sure. For that, you'll have to uh, look it up I guess it might be because it's not near the coast. This is the first time I've been in here. It's gorgeous. Let's check out the baseball stadium. Oh, wow. <laughs> New York Life Vlog says get off. 
That's an inside joke between uh, me and him with his live stream. <laughs> yeah, I think I got off a lot of stops away from New York City. <laughs> this is a nice baseball stadium. There's even chairs here. Very comfortable chairs. I wouldn't mind uh, seeing a game over here. Scott says this is a snazzy minor stadium. It is, it's pretty big. There's even outdoor uh, seating here for like concessions. Look at this, the Hampton Inn and & Suites even has a rooftop bar, Connor's rooftop. Adam Sawyers with $2. Have a good trip. You watch me all the time. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate the support. And Adam Nami, another Adam, $5. Greetings, Action Kid. You're visiting the hometown of YouTube's The Prince family. They have 8.2 million subs. They now reside in Houston, Texas. Wow, so cool. I'm not aware of that YouTube channel, but that's a lot of subscribers. Let's uh, walk through the convention center because it's pretty nice in there. I've been in there a few times. The Grand Wing Center. No smoking inside the convention center, by the way. This is the convention center. Very big, nice and clean. I like it a lot. Audi R8 1996, am I enjoying my trip so far? So far I am, but it's not been without its issues. Thankfully I've resolved the major ones so far. Yes, yeah, Storm, it is very quiet. Last night I was here and there was an event happening inside there. I was able to peer in this um, hall here and it's so gorgeous. It's very beautiful. A lot of people come to Fort Wayne because of the conventions and the special events. Because of like this over here, it's such a nice space. It's very convenient to the hotels across the street here and next to this that they decide to host the special events here. Ryan Hart says, please come to Dallas and Fort Worth, but go in September when it's cooler. Yeah, I've been down there 
during the summertime when it was like 110 degrees out. Wasn't very pleasant when I went down there that time. Randall Mattel with a $10 super chat. Nice live walk action kid. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, Randall. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Felix says maybe on the weekend it gets busy. Yeah, I would think so. Right now it's still a weekday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. So we're right in the middle of the week. Yes, Angela, this is the Grand Wayne Convention Center. I'm gonna exit over here and I'll show you the um, main public library branch. Roger says, weird, there's no one am I allowed to get in? There are a few people there. I saw a security guard. Oh, it's a heavy door. Well, maybe one side was only allowed to open. This building over here, this uh, Indiana, Michigan power building, I think is the tallest building in Fort Wayne. Oh, Michael, they launched fireworks from that building on the 4th of July. That's really cool. There's a really nice mural. Different flowers incorporated with the people there. Andreas Johansson, 1990. Hello from north of Sweden. Me and my girlfriend found your channel over a year ago and it's become your favorite channel. Thank you, Andreas. I'm glad you're enjoying it that much. Here's another electric scooter. Oh, Dutch. Um, the phone service here isn't too bad. But however, my hotel's internet service, it, it's really bad. Just to upload a, a five minute video, it took like an hour. So if I were to do one of my main walks, which are like 50 minutes long, multiply that by 10. So it's gonna take 10 hours to, op to upload a uh, 50 minute video. Paul John Welsh says Fort Wayne sucks. Well, if you're closed minded and not open, then you won't see the beauty of any place in the world, I guess. But sure, there's some places that quote unquote suck, but there's a lot of nice places too, like this Allen County Public Library building, which is very nice. Fort Wayne is in Allen County in the United States. Hey, someone's saying hi to me. What's up? There's a steakhouse here. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Maria asking if the library is open. 
I believe it is. I see the lights still on in the library. Yes, Michael, there is a fort there. They, they recreated the historic fort that was here for three years. If you're curious about the uh, vicinity of the downtown, you can see the map here. There's tons of places to see around here. I already walked a lot of this in my walking video of downtown, which I just did like three hours ago. But in addition to the south side, there's the west central area, the east central area, the area right south of downtown and north. I'm not too familiar with the um, neighborhoods around here because I'm not from here. Here we've got the Skyline Garage. How much does it cost to park here? Zero to 30 minutes free. 30 to 60 minutes, a dollar each additional hours, a dollar, and events are five dollars. So that's not bad for parking here. Cliff said the Detroit Pistons are originally from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Here's Harrison Street. This area here is known as the Gateway District. This way for the light because we got two cars coming and a truck now. Katie Fernandez says, I'm a natural, no one compares. You make anywhere, everywhere look great. I mean, I sure see the beauty in a lot of things, even places like here where they're a lot quieter than like where I'm from in New York. I try not to compare places because it gives a very skewed objective. I try to see things through like a newcomer's perspective. And I see a lot of the uh, excitement and activity here. Adam Nobby with $5, famous actors from Fort Wayne, Shelley Long of the TV show Cheers and Dick York, original Dick York of Bewitched. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate that information, thank you. Wow, look at this. There's so many murals here. This looks a little bit Chinese because that's like a Chinese line over to the right there. You've got a panda with ice cream on top of it. Kind of looks like bamboo flavor <laughs> ice cream. I'm going to take a picture of this. You would never expect to see something like this in Fort Wayne. It's like, whoa, there's the mascot of our channel, folks, the YouTube channel.
you know what there are um, informational plaques here Lions Dance 2020 Tokyo Japan and this one is Panda Oops 2018 Tammy Davis oh wow Oh, well, this one doesn't have a one on the bottom here. This sends this one says "Arouse for you must justify me 2018. I'm going to have to move all the way back to show this entire mural. It's that big. Oh, look at that. That's so profound. Here we have this older man here with a huge hat of flowers that just sprout over there and then fall all along the side of this wall. <laughs> When's the last time you saw some gentleman with a bunch of flowers just draping off from his head? Mike Jones with $5. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. If I had flowers... If I had flowers, like, I gotta connect the mic again, oops. I'm like the panda mural, panda oops. I on the microphone cable and uh, now to put it back in. So, if, he had flower, if I had flowers like that, I'd drape it off my head right now. Oh, George. The thing under the signs are for blind people so they could see the murals too. That's a great idea. Look at this place. Wow. 77 steps, 2020. These look like wind chimes a little bit. It might be like white plastic hanging from the top there, this alleyway. You know what's funny too? I already know about this place, but I only walked up to here when I did my um, narrated walk of downtown because I was looking over here and I didn't really see anything more. I saw these red paper lanterns, but I came over here and I looked over here. I was like, there's nothing interesting down there. This alleyway looks a little bit scary slash like dangerous so i turned around but little did i know down this area here that i didn't explore there's more artwork and it's beautiful i'm gonna have to take a picture of this alleyway i missed sometimes you never know Joan says it's Mott Street. It's similar to Mott Street because they have the red paper, uh, paper lanterns hanging from the, the wall here. Kamikaze, has anyone in Fort Wayne no noticed me yet? No, no one's noticed me yet. It's a really nice mural on the side here. This kind of looks like a fish and a frog at the same time. Maybe it's both. And this kind of looks like a, a crossover between a dog, a snail, and like a sea urchin maybe like a a gopher too
We got this for Teza Coffee. This might be a good spot to use as a thumbnail for the downtown Fort Wayne video. Or maybe even this live stream. Here you have one of my favorite name shops, Pint and Slice. It's a pizzeria where you can also get a drink. Lindsay says it kind of resembles Providence. Yeah, I can see where you see that. It's, it is similar to Providence in a way, to the downtown area. I'm not wondering how far Indianapolis is. I think it's about like two and a half, an hour, 45 minutes. Thank you. We had some help from a local resident here walking down the street. I thought it was like two and a half hours, but it's about an hour, 45 driving. Smelkies 57, welcome to our town AC. It's uh, AK, but a lot of people put AC for some reason. We love watching you out here in New York City. Can't believe you're here. Wish we were downtown now to recognize you. Glad you love our art and restaurants. And I love the people here too. They're all so friendly. Everyone I've met said hello and they were very nice. This over here is the Allen County Courthouse. Here we have the Centier Bank building. Bonnie says our alleys usually have a garbage all over. Wow. These alleys are pretty clean. I'll show you the courthouse building over to my left. And also the um, police headquarters across the street from it. This is an impressive building. It's on the National Historic Register. Hello. <laughs> well, that driver was speeding. Lena, I did. <laughs> this building over here is the Lincoln Tower. Lincoln National Bank building. Forbin Colossus asking if you need an account to use the e-scooters there. You need to download an app called Veo, V-E-O. And um, you do need to make an account. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, they uh, load your account automatically with $10 whenever you use the first e-scooter. So already you're out $10, even if you don't ride the entire $10. But I already used it and it cost me like $5, I think. 
it costs a dollar to start and 25 cents a minute but I still have some balance on the e-scooter to use if I ever need to use it for a future trip so it's not an issue at all I think I'll use it during my trip Textman81 asking no pigeons yeah I haven't seen any here I don't think there's enough pigeons for the birds to gather here and survive. Eddie's saying Fort Wayne's a super clean town. It is. It's a city actually. Second biggest city in Indiana. Yep, Gregorio, I did visit the historic fort and I'm still planning to go there right now. This over here is the police headquarters building. It's right across the street from the courthouse. Travis asking how the public transportation is there. Um, I don't know how it is. I've seen a few buses running through, but the only thing I've used that was public transportation was the e-scooter and I only used it once. Appalachian Ambrosia with a 9.99 super chat. Glad you arrived safely to Fort Wayne. You need to consider Northern Virginia when I move. Lots to do close to DC, but you can get away to the countryside and beach without too long of a drive. Appreciate you. Thank you, Appalachian Ambrosia for the support. Thank you so much. Oh, they're yielding to me all the way over there. That's interesting. Thank you. Leo Lyon wondering when I'm going to Indianapolis. I don't think I'll go to Indianapolis on this trip. It might be too much for me. But I've been to Indianapolis before. It's a beauty, beautiful city. It's the state capital of Indiana. This over here is a very beautiful park. It's called the Freeman Square. And this statue is a statue of Anthony Wayne, who ordered Fort Wayne to be built. So this guy over here, Anthony Wayne, the city is named after him and the fort, which was uh, historically here. You see here, Major General Anthony Wayne All right, Warren Vaughn, I think I'm gonna hide you because every time I've seen you, you've been posting something about the mayoral candidates or the election, and I don't think we want any more of that, so I'm sorry. So this is Major General Anthony Wayne. We've got the Bicentennial Heritage Trail.
cool guy am I going to come to Muncie to visit? I don't think I'll make it on this trip either. If anything, I'll go to Indianapolis over Muncie, so. His nickname is Mad Anthony Wayne, wow. This is the fountain in Fort Wayne. Freedman Square, I think it's called. Freeman Square, not Freedman. And for those of you wondering where all the birds are, we got some sparrows here. No pigeons, but we got sparrows. Oh wow, this is a water fountain. Is it working? Let's test it out. Yes, it is. I'm gonna drink some water because I need it. Not the best tasting water, but at least it gets me hydrated. Oh, there's a squirrel. If anyone wants to know what an Indiana squirrel looks like, I wonder if it's the same as the Eastern Gray. Where's the squirrel we saw? You know what, it's like a little bit brown. You see it, it's like reddish. It's got a red coat instead of gray. There it is. Yeah, feel, they're very timid. This one even ran away when I was so far away from it. This has a beautiful coat though. There we go, a better view here. Look at that, isn't it pretty? Gamer says it has stripes, it looks like a tiger. It is really interesting looking. Reminds me a lot of the um, the squirrels I saw in Mexico City. the first time I saw an Indiana squirrel.
Moose Knuckles says, I'm a master of the camera. Thank you. I notice a lot of nature too. Many species are similar. Like that one over there. That's the American Robin. Bradley Cummings with 499. Welcome to your state. Thank you, Bradley. Appreciate the support. You're welcome. Dean says it was a little bit shy. Very shy, but at least I was able to uh, see it from the ground and pointing it up. That's a chipmunk. Wow. It was fast, fast, fast. Beautiful. Design loves music. So we're right next to the Arts United Center over here. This over here is the Fort Wayne Museum of Art across the streets. And we'll make our way across the St. Mary's River over here. And I'll show you that. It's really beautiful on that side too. Arts in United Center. Fort Wayne Museum of Art, as I said before. There's also beautiful sculptures around this area. Look at this. It's all about music with this sculpture. Bonnie, how do I tell the difference? I notice city squirrels often. I do. I've seen enough squirrels to know the difference. Lawrence Trance with a $1.49 super chat. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it very much. Let's walk right into the tree branch. That was fun. Let me do that again. La 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 la. Hello. This is Action Kid here. Oh. 
Oh, now, now the wind's blowing, so I can't do it anymore. Or I can do it over here. Here we go. Oh, we can do this one. Where did this tree branch come from? It's in my way. Oh. Watch this, this is pretty funny. <laughs> it looks like a movie when you do that. So this is Lafayette Street. We've got the Fort Wayne Fire Department Station Number One over here, Central Fire Station Number One. Uh, enough for cat. I'll reveal that when the event happens. I don't think it's wise of me to uh, tell people what I'm here for yet. Holy Spirit saying this is your hometown. You're about five minutes from me right now. Very nice. I'm glad I'm in Fort Wayne. And here and you're here watching it too. Someone lost a hubcap over there. Holy Spirit saying Promenade Park is great if I haven't been there yet. Maybe I have, but I just didn't know the name of it. Promenade Park? Is it within walking distance? West Superior Streets. No, I don't think I've been there, but I'll head over there after I go to uh, the historic Fort Wayne area. Chris Reedy, nice to see you in your home state. Your little hometown is Shelbyville, but you've lived in Florida most of your life. Hope you like Indiana. Yeah, the last few times I've been to Indiana, it's been nice. Another person who drove by and said something I didn't recognize, unless they were talking to their passenger from on the phone. Sound doesn't really travel too well from moving cars. Here's the Wayne Township trustee office. There's a car coming right now. Wait. 
So we're crossing over the Governor Samuel Bigger Memorial Bridge now over the St. Mary's River. This is the one of three rivers which intersect here in Fort Wayne. It's a beautiful waterfront area. They even have floating bars over there. So you can have a drink going down the St. Mary's River. Stream saying that restaurant is called the deck and it seems to be quite popular too there's a lot of people there saying Mary's River looking a bit muddy. That it does. Hey. So over here we have the historic Fort Park. They recreated the park. Holy Spirit, old fort coming up. Yes, I've been here before. Hey, I came back. <laughs> it's so nice here. Yeah, I have to show it again. All right, so um, I'm going to have to use one of these porta potties here. So I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, I'm back. Just washed my hands too. My hands are still wet, but they'll air dry. So over here is where the historic fort once stood. It only lasted for three years. It was um, authorized under Anthony Wayne to be constructed. Wall Street Skate Bro is here. Welcome man. Glad you can make it to the live stream. Crispy bacon, how could it be a fort if I can just walk in? There's a historic fort. Aaron says, is it haunted? I don't think it is. I've already passed here and I didn't really experience anything um, scary. They might be closing up soon because I see them like leaving already and closing doors. So I'll just make my time here very brief. So this structure right here, or the recreation of it, rather, is why the entire city has its name. Quite remarkable if you think of it that way. Aaron says the place looks scary. I don't know, it might be haunted, but I didn't experience anything of that when I was there. What you're going to like is this pedestrian walkway over here, over the St. Mary's River. Michael says, cross the footbridge to Promenade Park. Oh, this whole park across the river is called Promenade Park? If it is, it's, I've been here before. I thought it was a different name. Let me look it up. Because I, I looked on uh, Google Maps, Promenade Park is like past Headswater Park. Yeah, that's right. I thought it's called Headswater Park. Promenade Park is a little bit after it. Okay, Huey Spear says there's also Heads Water Park. Okay, so um, regardless, I'm gonna show both parks anyway. There's the fort from a distance. Someone's taking pictures here. Margie Walfers from Southern Indiana and you watched me to get away. Nice Margie. Indiana is such a beautiful place. In the distance there you see the downtown Fort Wayne skyline. Michael says I'm right, heads water, they're building a path to connect. Promenade Park to Headswater. 
Look at that, there's people kayaking down the river. Actually, I never really understand if like, if you're going down a river or up a river or walking down a street or walking up a street. Does it really make any difference? I guess with water it does because like you're going against the current, but walking is like walking up Fifth Avenue, walking down Fifth Avenue. I think it's the same. I think the more correct way to say it is like walking on. It's a gorgeous sight to see here. PGH for a street, it would only matter if it's a hill. That's true. Let's see them emerge from the side that's so beautiful Aaron wants to go kayaking, kayaking, it looks fun. Granted, the river is a little bit muddy though and brown, but it doesn't look fun. Yeah. Someone just yelled, yeah. Wonder why. Miranda, welcome to your hometown. Oh, glad I can make it to your hometown, Miranda. It's very nice so far. I'm enjoying this. Over here, by the way, I learned is the Ch Miami Indian chief who helped settle this area. Indian chief. All these people are surprised at the statue as much as I am. <laughs> This area was originally settled by the Native American Indians, the Miami Indians. Sounds like there's a lot of birds around here. Lots of robins around here. <laughs> <laughs> 
and that's another swirl. Spotted in the wild. Brown on the side, just like the one I saw earlier. Wow, it is fast. Oh my gosh, look. The floating bars are going on the river now. Aaron says, you see me. Crispy asking how much is it to go on the floating bar. I'm not sure. I've never done it before. I've just seen it right now. Fort Wayne Circle of Hope here. So I'm going to walk underneath another bridge crossing over the St. Mary's River. This one is the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Bridge. Quite a long name, but celebrating a very important person of history. He's the famous guy who, a few steps from the Lincoln Memorial, said I have a dream that one day all men will be created equal. You know that guy. Very important person of history. And this is what this bridge uh, is named after. We're walking under it now. And from the other side. Lena says I should make squirrel emojis too. That's a rabbit. That's a rabbit, very dark colored rabbit. It's eating something in the grass. Rabbits could be faster than the squirrels, so. Rabbits are so fast. Okay. 
I don't see the rabbit anymore. It disappeared. Yeah, Aaron, the wildlife here is so shy. The squirrels, they'll run from you. The rabbits, they'll run from you. The chipmunks, they'll run from you too. Moose <laughs> Knuckle said this is better than a zoo. But at least I was able to zoom in as much as I could to even show the rabbit. I don't even know what the difference is between a rabbit and a bunny. Is there even a difference or is it just a different way to same, say the same thing of animal? Nefrocast says there's no difference. That's what I thought. Little Toast says a bunny is a baby rabbit. I didn't know that. Oh, Scott, hairs are apparently similar but have longer ears and are sociolog sociologically different in behavior. Okay, so hares and rabbits are different, but not rabbit and bunny. Speaking of which, hi. Hi. I still don't see it. They ran off so fast. And they hide themselves so well too. So this might be Promenade Park, right? Or is this Hedgewater? Yeah, this still might be uh, Hedgewater from the looks of it. I went a different way last time. I walked over the bridge. Whoa! <laughs> this guy's having fun with a stick just whacking at a tree leaf. Oh my gosh, he was whacking the tops of those plants and knocking them off. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Look at what he did to this plant. He went whoop and chopped it right in two with that big stick.
So where is Promenade Park now? I guess I go this way now. Let me take a look. All right, I'm close by. I just follow the water and I'll be there pretty much. Cooley Spears says Promenade is on Superior Streets. Sidewalk is closed. Well, we're not going there. Dakota needs to get back to work. All right, Dakota, enjoy your time of work. A lot of construction here. They want to build residential buildings next to the waterfront. If that's going to be a residential building or an office building, I don't know. I guess both are really desirable. Ching Huang has never been to Indiana. It's a really beautiful state. Uh-oh, we're walking next to the jail. This is where you go if you're a troublemaker. Okay, so this is Superior Street. This is where Promenade Park is supposed to be. I guess I'll make a right here or maybe I'll find, follow the signs to get to the park. George Romano, I move like Superman now in Indianapolis. I'm not in uh, Indianapolis, I'm about two hours away from there. So uh, according to that sign there, it says, well, it's hard to see now from this angle, but Heads Water Park to the right, Greenwood Trail to the right, Courthouse to the left, and City County Building to the left. Well, I was there already. I didn't see the promenade park. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't bring my chest mount with me. So if I ride a scooter, the footage is going to be really shaky. I mean, I could probably try. Maybe I'll put my phone in the shirt pocket and that'll work.
Aaron says is a quiet little town. Ron says, live stream for the first time the other day and I forgot to answer a question with a question first like you do. The other way in replay, the answers make no sense. Well, uh, if they're looking at the chat while it is, then it will. But otherwise, it does make sense to uh, give a context as to what you're responding to. Oh, so this is Promenade Park here. Adrian, is this a jail to my left? No, this is a uh, builder, supplies, and face brick. At least that's what the side of this building is. That over there, I think, is the police headquarters. But this building over here, I'm not sure what it is. Carl Howell with $5 performed scientific research in Fort Wayne, Indiana and concluded it's impossible to survive without money. Thank you, Carl Howard. Appreciate it. Oh, look at all these scooters here. There's too many. Couldn't ride on any one of these if I wanted to. I gotta take a picture of this because stuff like this is kind of cool to see. And here's Promenade Park. Riverfront Fort Wayne. Wow, this is so nice. Convergence Linda Howard, 2018. Holy Spirit says there's a restaurant in the middle of this park. And I'd like to thank you again for uh, directing me to this park too. It's a really nice park. Little Creek Bioswales. Look at this over here, they've got ping pong tables. But where are the ping pong balls? I think the balls are supposed to be in here. They're empty. Wait a second, this is supposed to be for the other one. This thing over here. Let's see if I can do this. I tried to go long range on that one and it didn't work. At least I got it past the, the hole. Yeah, cornhole is right. Almost. Almost. I made it. <laughs> that was my second try.
Lynn says they have beautiful parks and rabbits for sure. There's also a restaurant in the middle of this park too. I need to take a lot of pictures here in this park. It's so beautiful. Some video too will be nice. That was a perfect moment I got there. Handstand. Yeah, Lena, that's right. I'm uh, working on my Instagram account now a lot more. I actually got some help for it recently, so. They're helping me put some pictures up and some reels and respond to comments as well. And I'm also going to be doing that myself too because I'm just so busy with my channel that I was like, you know what? I got to promote my Instagram more and start building it up. Come to the park cafe, cool drinks, hot snacks and air conditioning. Christy, you have to say the area looks beautiful. It's so nice here. There's also restrooms there, brand new restrooms, a water bottle, uh, water bottle filler. Gorgeous outdoor seating area. photos from around here. I've really stepped on my Insta presence. Cool shots from that graffiti subway station. Yeah, I got help from another Instagrammer. <laughs> Trouble Riverside. Whoa. This area is so beautiful. Wine slushies. Hello. Beer is the answer. What is the question? The question is, are you thirsty? Hey, this is such a gorgeous park. It's my first time here. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, but this is such a nice place too. Homemade chorizo chili, loaded chili, all beef hot dog, two fifty. The prices here are so good. Chips for a dollar too. Yeah, blue lichen, they serve alcohol too. I'm gonna have to uh, come back here on my trip here. No alcohol behind this, beyond this point. Gamer says the city has a Sacramento vibe, California. Oh my gosh. This bridge is impressive. And so is this waterfront area. Oh my goodness.
crispy bacon. This city has an Ithaca, New York vibe, nature galore up there as well. I've been there several times as well to Ithaca, New York. This is the Well Street Bridge. Whoa, Wrought Iron Bridge Company Builders, Canton, Ohio. What a gorgeous area. And I completely missed this on my narrated walk of downtown. Granted, this park here over here, Promenade Park is brand new, it looks like, but my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Scott says you always do badly on this bridge. Wow, that must be fun to ride the scooter across. You know, I'm curious. I know how much the electric scooters cost. It's a dollar to start, 25 cents a minute, but how much do the bicycles cost? If it's the same price, then I think it's worth it. If it's more expensive, then I'd rather take the scooter because you don't have to pedal. Veo ride. All right, so a bicycle is a dollar to unlock and five cents a minute for the bicycle. Whoa, five cents a minute. Pedal bike, it says. Oh, it's not a, it's not an electric bike. Let me scan this. Scan to unlock. Yeah, it's a, a dollar to unlock and five cents a minute, powered by you. All right, wow. Good to know. Now we're going to walk across this gorgeous park view tree canopy trail. No scooters or skateboards, it says. Ryan says, I've walked your Brooklyn backyard and Indiana backyard. Whoa, this is so cool. This is an even better shot of the bridge from this side of the, this angle. Edwin says the curvature is amazing. It really is.
and you've got the canoes over here or the kayaks I guess they're kayaks Someone's having a feast down there. I keep hearing trains, but I don't see any. This must be the, uh, the kayak rental place, Fort Wayne Outfitters and Bike Depot. Someone's bringing in a kayak right now over there. Hey, cute little dog. Hello. <laughs> He's so cute. Now I see why they call this a tree canopy walk. Wow, this is neat. It's integrated right into the bridge here. The slide. I think I'm a little too big for the slide, so I'm not gonna go down. This is a really nice playground for the kids. Well, I have to say, I've been very impressed with Fort Wayne so far. It's got a lot more to see than I thought. Water Blazing says, AK is in the Midwest, OMG. And someone made a joke saying, Indiana really isn't the Midwest, it's the Mid East, if you think about it. And I had to think about it and I said, yeah, that's right. Indiana is more east than west and I even wondered after that why is it called the Midwest when it's not in the Midwest it should be more east right and it turns out that that also has to do with history because back when people were settling the United States everything west of the Appalachian Mountains was considered the west quote unquote so that nomenclature stuck and now it's called the midwest even though it's more east than west <laughs> that's right feeler style 84 the early years of the nation that's that's why because everything west of like you know pennsylvania is the west if you think if it put it that way i guess Maybe Kentucky is the Southwest. Maybe Louisiana is the Southwest as well, if you use that definition. Here we are walking across this wrought iron, iron bridge again.
and she's going to do it again. She has some terrific balance. Cooley says I should check out Parkview Field. You know, um, earlier in the live stream, I actually went there. It's a gorgeous minor league baseball stadium. So what I'm going to do now is go back to downtown, but I want to try riding a scooter with the live stream without my chest mount. It may fail miserably or it may actually be pretty good, but I have to make sure it's stable before I do so. You know what? There were some swing sets there that I didn't even notice before. Oh, there's foosball here. I didn't even see. It's completely free. Usually you have to pay for this as like a bar game or something. I don't know where the ball went, but... No ball for the foosball. There's the Fort Wayne Ambulance. Three Rivers Ambulance, they call it. T-R-A-A. -A. I think it was over here where all the scooters were. Oh no. The ambulance stopped there. They're getting help for that person. All right, I don't want to show this, so I'm going to point the camera to myself, but I really hope this person's okay. They look like they're on the ground, passed out. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Hello. Yes. Look at this. They even have a person on bicycle responding, police. Okay, well, let me see if I could ride the scooter. I hope um, he's okay and they're able to get whatever help they need for him. Huh, can I do this? Maybe this might work. Wide angle. I have it in my shirt pocket. Let's see here. Uh, Veo, I hope this doesn't bounce out. Oh, 
Okay. I don't think this is gonna work well, but we got the fire department coming too. This might end horribly wrong. But this scooter works pretty well. It's six, 15. Whoa, that was a little hard on the brake. I'm, I'm afraid this thing's gonna fall out of my pocket. Yeah, I don't think I want to mess with this. I'm going to stop it. This is dangerous. I'm glad my camera didn't fall. Ugh. Let's park it over here. I mean, I wasted a dollar to unlock it, but it was good in concept, but I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah, with drivers like that, not good. Let's end the ride before I get charged some more. Take a photo, you gotta take a photo before. All right, so it should cost like 150, because it was two minutes. All right, so. It was a dollar and 75 cents plus nine cents tax, a dollar 84. All right, $2 just to try out some stupidity move that I shouldn't do anymore. I guess I'll just be walking back to downtown. Yeah, Fred, I just leave it here. I mean, it's not in the way of the pathway. That's the way these rental scooters work. Yeah, Dutch, next time with a chest mount. I didn't bring it because I didn't think I was going to be riding a scooter here. I didn't think to bring mine. I didn't even think there was going to be scooters here to begin with. Thank you, Eddie Perez. Five bucks. Now I gained it back and then some. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it. Yeah, Melissa, it might damage my equipment on itself. The, the stabilizer was coming out of my pocket at the end there. I didn't even brake right away. I just let the scooter slow down naturally before I apply the brake. Because I actually had to, um, to stop it there. and guitars this is the best live stream I've ever done 
Thank you, Sins. I'm glad you think so. My first live stream in Indiana, and it's your favorite live stream. That's really flattering. Julie says, is this rush hour in Fort Wayne? You'll take it. Yes, I guess it is. Melissa, where do you park it? You park it anywhere that's not blocking the walkway pretty much or like in a hard to get to area and it'll be fine. You have to take a picture of where you parked it. So over to my right here is uh, Freeman Park. We're gonna go back there and then go to um, the convention center. Wow, is this a railroad? Good thing I'm not too far from the downtown area. Oh, Smile Key says, just so I know, it's Fryman Park, not Freeman. And first I said it was Friedman, and there's no D there, but it's Fryman. There's the beautiful fountain again. Some more people asking what I'm doing in Fort Wayne. I have to be here for some personal reasons. I'm not saying what it is until after the event is concluded. I don't think it's prudent for me to reveal it yet. Fort Wayne Museum of Art. There's also some more art on the corner here. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This crosswalk has no light. All right, I guess we can go now. No cars are coming, but that was a little bit scary to cross this. They have a sign that says, yields to pedestrians, but. Oh, Misha says this is where New York City street crossing skills are dope. Mm. 
overseas it is what America beyond New York City looks like. Definitely not made for walking. Um, I've been to a few places outside New York City in the United States and there are a lot of places that are good for walking including here. This is not bad at all. I've experienced a lot of places in New York City which are much worse for walking than here. Do you think Midtown Manhattan is made for walking? Oh my gosh, you look left, there's a cyclist. You look right, there's an e-scooter. You look left, there's a stupid person doing handstands in the middle of the road or there's a drunk person laid out there. And then there's another angry person about to hit you, giving you mean looks. And then there's a driver not yielding to you on a left turn. I think New York City is uh, dangerous for walking sometimes. photos from around New York there's a person doing pull-ups on the scaffolding yeah that I won't recommend because your entire weight can just pull that bar down you can hurt yourself pretty easily Maureen say this is the other extreme it seems deserted I mean, if just judging by the amount of cars on the road, I don't think it's deserted. Many people here choose to drive than walk around. All right, so I'm here right now. next street is Washington Boulevard because I'm going down this way and then I'll head here for the convention center. Perfect. <laughs> Carl says, go figure there's more Wi-Fi dead spots in mid Manhattan for action kit to fall into than totally empty Fort Wayne. Yeah, you would think New York City would have the best cell phone service, but here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, not a hiccup at all. All of my services here have been great. AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. The only thing that sucks is my hotel's Wi-Fi, which I don't get still. Like, we're in 2021 now. A hotel offering Wi-Fi should have at least like decent speeds, but that's not a amenity that a lot of hotels, hotels brag about. They say, hey, we've got free Wi-Fi, but they should rename it to a uh, free, barely usable Wi-Fi. And if you're a YouTuber like me who needs tons of data to upload stuff, then it's not really acceptable. Maddie on the mix, you're from Indianapolis, was surprised to see me in Fort Wayne. Yes, I'm here today and for the rest of the week. Hi, how are you? Yep. How you doing? Walking through downtown. People are so friendly here. Washington Boulevard. There's the Indy Power and Indy and Michigan Power Company. And the airport is to the left. Over here is the Masonic Temple, the Freemason Hall. It's a huge building.
Yeah, Philip, it is a cool looking building. Take a look again. Maddie on the mix. You don't think you've been to Fort Wayne, but it looks like Indianapolis, the downtown area. I'm surprised because uh, Fort Wayne's only two hours away from you. But I've been to Indianapolis too. It's a great city. Wait. I think this Wait. one talks. It tells you what street you're gonna cross. Wait. 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 <laughs> oh, nope. Doesn't. There was one that told you what street um, you could cross. I forget which uh, corner it was. Wait. Wait. He sounds the same no matter where I go. It's always the same voice. The weight guy for the pedestrian crosswalk travels more than I do. Holy Spirit is a Purdue Fort Wayne. Very cool. I'm not too familiar with uh, schools out here. Oh, this one might tell you at what street it is. Wait, wait, wait to cross Washington Boulevard at Calvin Street. Wait, wait. Washington Boulevard at Calhoun Street. Wait. Wait. Wait to cross Washington Boulevard at Calhoun Street. Wait. Wait. <laughs> the second wait is like, wait. <laughs> Washington Boulevard. Walk sign is not to cross Washington Boulevard. <laughs> the second wait is like, wait to cross Washington Boulevard. Wait. <laughs> it sounds so enthusiastic on the second wait. Let's listen to this one. Wait, wait, wait. Wait to cross Calhoun Street at Washington Boulevard. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait to cross Washington Boulevard wait. at Calhoun Boulevard. Wait. Calhoun Street. You gotta be more enthusiastic about that. Why would anyone wait if you go like, wait? No, you don't do that. You'd be like, wait. That's how you do it. Wait to cross Cushman Boulevard at Calhoun Street. Wait. I'll be the voice actor for that talking crosswalk button. Lena says he sounds disappointed that you didn't wait it and push the button too many times. They should make the voice angry and angry each successful press. 
That'll be funny. You know what? Let's, uh, this talking crosswalk sounds, looks like the same kind of model. Which one's, it, how does this one sound? This one, the walk sign's on, but I could try this one. Wait, wait, wait to cross Jefferson Boulevard at Calhoun Street. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh why So um, this is the Botanical Conservancy. It's very nice. It's like a full of different plants and it costs $5 to enter. I'll definitely come here on one of my days when, I, when I'm able to. Cooley Spear, you went on a lot of field trips there as a kid. I'm gonna have to go in here. It's very nice. And here's the Embassy Theater. The uh, Fort Wayne Convention Center is across the street. And I'm going to be ending my walk over here in front of the Embassy Theater. Anyway, if you enjoyed this live stream from Fort Wayne, Indiana, please smash that like button and smash it again if you already did so to make it ultra, ultra liked. But if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming in Indiana anymore since I'll be quite busy over the next few days. but. We'll see what happens. I am going to be coming back to New York on the 29th, but I'm still going to have New York City videos posting every single day. So you probably won't even know I'm gone if I didn't even update you on Indiana or if I'm traveling, you'd be like, oh, it's just another video. And he's hasn't been live for a while, but I'm here. Take it easy, folks. Bye. And Margrace, Indianapolis, I'll have to see about if I have time but Fort Wayne is already enough. I'll see you later, bye.